This is a LEGO Mindstorm EV3 robot. And as you can see, I've got the base configuration pretty much how it's described in the manual out of the box, but I have added an infrared sensor to the front of the robot. So how the base model looks as described in the book, there are two large motors added with wheels and as you can see there's a just a metal ball there that doesn't do anything. So I've configured the infrared sensor to work with an infrared remote. Let me position it this way. And I have set up a program on the screen that you can currently see. It's kind of hard in the light here. It says start the show, uh, built the cart, and by pressing the buttons on here, I can guide the cart. So forward button is the button up here in the middle. Backward is blue down. Left is red up. Right is blue up. And stop is red down. All right. Let's see if this works. Whoop. All right, let's try backing up. Cool. All right, let's go forward again. Notice that turning and backing up is at a slower speed. And that we are moving at a nice brisk pace back into the office. What I like about this infrared sensor is that it works as long as I'm pointed directly at the robot, even if the sensor is not pointed towards me, and that we have ambient light coming in from the window, and that's not disrupting the infrared sensor at all. So good. This is my hello world of remote-controlled robotics. This was all done with Legos. Uh, which is running Java 1.7, and this is an assignment that I would like to give my students in the upcoming semester. Thank you. Bye.